The sanctions that we expect to be announced tomorrow, to what degree will they complement those that have already been put in place? Well, uh, we heard from uh, uh, President Biden's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, that the U.S. Uh, will be announcing more sanctions today. Um, no specifics other than that these will relate to uh, political figures and oligarchs, according to Jake Sullivan. So we'll be hearing more about that, presumably, uh, um, at the the, the meeting uh, between President Biden and the NATO leaders. Um, uh, the Wall Street Journal reported that uh, U.S. Treasury was preparing sanctions against uh, Roman Abramovich, um, a Russian, uh, uh, Russian oligarch who owns the Chelsea Football Club in, in the U.K. Um, but uh, according to the journal's reporting, President Zelensky um, spoke with President Biden and urged them to hold off because President Zelensky is hopeful that uh, Abramovich may be able to serve as a go-between in peace talks. Um, speaking of President Zelensky, he will be speaking at this um, uh, at this NATO meeting uh, uh, remotely. Um, uh, President Biden is scheduled uh, after this meeting tomorrow. He's scheduled to go to Poland, uh, a NATO ally that's right there on the front lines. When it comes to this uh, EU-US deal to try and cut reliance on Russian energy, what are we expecting there? Well, this is a, um, a, a very important issue, of course, because uh, uh, Europe relies so heavily on uh, energy imports from Russia, particularly gas. Uh, and so uh, the US is looking for ways to increase uh, gas production, LNG production, looking for ways to get more LNG to Europe. Um, this is something that is uh, not just a long-term goal. Um, it's, we're not just talking about years. The goal is to start doing this quickly um, in months. Uh, the European Commission wants to be able to uh, have 80 percent um, gas store, 80 percent of their gas storage filled uh, in time for this coming winter. Um, the uh, European Commission announced that yesterday. Um, and by the following year, they want to have 90 percent. Um, uh, we also know that uh, prior to this trip, um, uh, Jake Sullivan and uh, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen met with energy executives, including ExxonMobil CEO, to talk about ways that they could uh, address some of these issues, try to speed up production, um, uh, all with the aim of getting more uh, gas to Europe so that they can reduce their reliance on Russia. Mm.